Good Monday, Makers. Welcome back to another episode of Maker Pipe Monday. It's so good to be with you guys. Hope you had a great weekend. I am joined by Jake here, as usual. Hello, everybody. Hope everybody had a good weekend. And we're going to check out some awesome builds. We got a great lineup, a lot of cool stuff here. Let's get right into it. The first one we've got is this one by Dwayne. Uh, Dwayne is in production and uh, video production to be exact. So he's been working on this cart for all his gear. He's got a lot of gear in video production, right? And you need something to haul it all in. And they, they make commercial options for these carts. And as you imagine, they t cost a ton. But uh, Dwayne went in and, and made it himself. So this is version one. He's got uh, you know a simple axle hack where he runs the threaded rod through the conduit, mounted some wheels, and then boxed it off with some T's. Has a, a handle there. Uh, looking good. I like that. And you can see it in practice. And um, he's got some ideas on how to uh, further improve it. But he says that the wheels are from Harbor Freight. They're 10-inch pneumatic wheels, air wheels. And uh, probably followed the same hack that we outlined in a few videos and we've seen in the community uh, by just running a piece of threaded rod and then locking it down with nuts on either end. Um, but yeah, he's got a couple of press-in inserts, quarter 20 and 3 16 uh, in the ends of the pipes for different mounting points. I mean, that's like a common microphone and um, camera mount. So that's really handy if you need to, I guess, use, a, use it as a dolly. I don't know that he is, but it, you definitely could. Uh, but yeah, looks like a, a great build. Really appreciate Dwayne. The next build we have, this person is building a patio shade house for plants and got a hold of the mini connectors. Mini connectors are a great way to prototype something if you haven't seen, and they used all of them. <laughs> they said they were running out of uh, mini connectors. And one of the things that really are so good about the mini connectors is you can make mistakes in your design, share your design, and do that before you even cut the first piece of conduit. You're only cutting straws. And that's kind of the design iteration here. This is uh, the first design. And then uh, an, a post a little bit later had some design revisions. So I think that's cool. But the whole thing is that you could put shade cloth on the top of it and then also have a lot of shelves for plants underneath. And you're saying, um, you know, what the shelves could be made of anything, two by fours, plywood, whatever is on hand. Um, and, uh, the keys are, uh, making a, a real solid structure that you can have shelves, but also being able to drape the, uh, shade cloth on top and then have a door as well. This is an early revision. I don't see a door here, but they added this door and didn't want the pipe in the bottom, uh, to trip over. And although it's going to be on a concrete pad, also didn't want to drill it and anchor it into the concrete. So this, this triangular brace was to kind of reinforce that wall. If you just had these connectors, uh, you know, it might be a little bit floppy. And that's a couple of the questions that were asked um, is how, is this a good way to reinforce a corner of a door uh, without drilling it in? And I, I mean, I think it is. Another thing that comes to mind maybe is the, you know, a sandbag, uh, on top of that pipe to kind of hold it down if you're not going to anchor it. Um, so that was one question in this. And then also how, you know, structurally sound, are they are they making good choices as far as their design? So um, if you kind of pick it apart a little bit, and I, I take a little bit more uh, more of a critical eye to it. I mean, I think it's good. I think it's great, and it'll definitely do the trick. Um, one thing I would suggest is turning these 90 degree connectors so the center piece is on the vertical. That that makes them uh, pretty strong that way. And then uh, these verticals are great. These supports, I assume these are going to be the shelves. And you even got a 45 brace here, which will help with the rigidity. Uh, the big thing that I'd like to suggest as an option is uh, making, if you can, and I don't know how big this is, but if you can make this top pipe continuous through this junction so use a 90 here instead of a four-way that's going to really support 
this overhang. And that's kind of a critical thing. If you break up the pipe right here and connect it with a joint, you might get some, some leverage on it. So consider uh, either making this one big pipe or putting a coupling here and using a continuous pipe till you get to these 135s for the awning. I think that'll, um, that'll really strengthen up that awning part. Um, so yeah, uh, but, but great progress so far. And then there's uh this is kind of V2 where they did a few updates and, oh, there you go. Turn the nineties, uh, with the vertical, great idea there. Um, okay. And then incorporate some supports for the benches. I like that. That's cool. And then, uh, used those, um, those horizontals to also reinforce where the door was going to be and that kind of has a pass through. That's neat. I like that design. And so just take a look at that four way. And I think you've got a solid design there. Uh, also use of the 45s really cool. So yeah, keep us posted. Uh, love the design and we can't wait to see some, some plants on this really neat build. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I think it's great. Uh, this next build, uh, is kind of a wild story. So um, I was spending some time with my parents and my dad was just surfing the news and he was in the New York Times uh, style magazine, just checking things out. He likes to take a look at artists from now and again. And one morning he's kind of flipping through this article and it's about the art of Mary Mattingly. And there's a whole feature on her. She does some really interesting artwork. He loves the crossword puzzles and this stuff, and then he he gets into this too. But he's he's uh, scrolling through this, and then this catches his eye, and you know anything we're like, is that maker pipe? Could that be? And believe it or not, in the New York Times Magazine, here's the art of Mary Mattingly featured with maker pipe, and we look closer and. You know, believe it or not, it's it's our connectors, which is so cool. I mean, mind blowing to like just happen across this, right? She didn't share this with us. Certainly, the New York Times didn't share this with us. Um, but what she made here, um, and this is an art installation that she has put in uh, in several places in the world. But it's called Water Time, and she did it in 21. And I'll read this: It's a sculptural water clock that speeds up and slows down down in accordance with changes in the temperature. It was installed in Montana um, for a certain installation, then remade in Ecuador before being rebuilt in her studio and uh, place in Governor's Island, uh, where she has some of her artwork now. But yeah, that's pretty, pretty wild. I mean, I don't know how it works, but it looks like, you know, it looks like a science experiment, right? You got beakers and tubes all over the place. And then, um, you know, an, an interesting use of conduit definitely has a, a different look than a lot of the stuff we normally see. Um, yeah, you've got some 90 degrees here, uh, drilled through 180s in different ways. I like this one that kind of goes up and, and uh, there's a, a pipe run into it. So really cool story. Um, so proud that, our products are kind of making their way into mainstream media outlets. I mean, and what a, a compliment for an artist like Mary to, um, to use our stuff. That's really cool. Here we've got a couple of reviews. Always love reviews. Um, thanks, guys, for putting these in. We got the first one by Dennis G. And uh, pictures. And this is a mega tree ring. So this is a, a holiday uh, sort of themed and I think what a mega tree is, is you basically create the structure of a Christmas tree and then string lights from the top peak all the way down to the bottom and have this ring. Uh, so this one's in a, a semicircle. Maybe it's just you look at one side of it, right? But it, I think it might have a, a center post and then you just string lights from the top center post down to this semicircle. And uh, so Dennis G, he's saying uh, these products make... Any DIY project easy. It came together so quick with maker pipe connectors. Awesome. Thanks for the kind words. That's really great to hear. We've got another one here, and this is a review for the OT connector as well. 
uh, both these. And this is uh, this is a neat one in New York by Edouard. Uh, this is actually some some fall protection. Uh, so this looks to be like a a, a rooftop New York um, space. And this is, I guess, how you access. This is the access to the roof, and I imagine there's some stairs or things, and um, or maybe this is the way you get up there with this ladder. And I think it is. Needed some more, you know, some, some more places to hold your hold on to. Um, but uh, yeah, I think I think that is. I think that's the ladder, and you. This is aiding climbing up. Wow, that's that's intense. Yeah, they've got galvanized pipe there, kind of a mixture of conduit and galvanized pipe. And yeah, my guess was going to be some kind of because they talked about adjustable angle hinge in the review. Mm -hmm. So my guess was going to be, uh, you know, something like that, or maybe even a cover that just covers it because it doesn't look like there's any kind of um, you know protection there from like weather and stuff. So I thought maybe it was also uh, like a flip up cover, but I don't know. They don't really say in the review. Right. Let's our imagination <laughs> run free. Because it says uh, T connectors are very handy. Adjustable hinge connector needs an extra screw to tighten the link. See mm -hmm. pictures. Yeah, I think so. You know, the adjustable angle, it does hold tight, but not under a lot of stress, right? Uh, I like the combination of the galvanized, you know, which is a thicker wall tubing, especially for fall protection or anything structural, you know, having the strongest pipe and connectors you can is really recommended. So the mixed use of conduit and uh, water pipe, galvanized pipe, is kind of cool. And you can see it's like it's integrated into this concrete lip too. There's there's pipes going through. So really wild. What a, what a unique uh, application, uh, but very cool. I also like these leveling feet in the back. I think that's uh, to support it down to the concrete. It wasn't quite level. And these are um, a threaded clamp with a uh, with kind of a base. A lot going on there. So really appreciate those photos. Love seeing it. Uh, thanks for the review, Edward. Okay, here we go. Another one. Uh, this is actually an update from one that Jake showed last week. Uh, you guys might have seen this. It's a holiday light display where they use these indexable LED lights in a in an array. And the maker pipe is simply just holding that up uh, as a display. And you can see there's kind of some of the displays. There's a mega tree. Oh, yeah. Or, nice. you know, I don't know if that's mega enough, but it looks pretty big. It's taller than the roof. Taller than the roof. That's pretty good. <laughs> and then this is the pixel uh, indexable LEDs up there that are controlled by a programmer. Um, oh, that's going ahead there. But we got an update with the video. So this is a video uploaded to the community of the light show. Let's check this out. <laughs> you can see the that in the middle there, dancing around on that screen. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Well, awesome. Thanks so much, Anonymous, for. Uh, for the update, great project. Um, I hope you have a a wonderful holiday season. And even though Maker Pipe is a small part of your your home display, uh, we appreciate it and uh, love seeing it. So looks great. Here is a uh, a review. We just got tons of reviews. This is great. So this is by Scott B. And Scott B. says, um, I followed the Maker Pipe YouTube video on the DIY racing sim cockpit and adapted it to make uh, a triple monitor stand for my existing cockpit. Works great, saved a bunch of money, loved hearing that, and used the adjustable pieces for the side monitor mounts as an infinite adjust for infinite adjustability. I love it. Uh, yeah, this is really cool to see because Jake and I, uh, well, Jake really did the building um, of the racing sim video we did a while ago. Um, and we he did it with a, a triple monitor uh, just like this. So, um, is how close is this to your design, Jake? Uh, it's pretty much the pretty much the exact same, I think, because I I think the one that we made had you know just two verticals in the back that was kind of attached to the main cube that the steering wheel and all that was attached to. Mm -hmm. um, but I think 
I think um, on this one, it, they just don't have that cube. They basically just have the verticals attached to their, uh, you know, to their main rig that they already had. Sure. But it's the 45s, the Ts, all that is pretty much the exact same. Definitely use the monitor hack mm -hmm. and the same sort of mounting. And then you're right, just the verticals there, which looks like it interfaces uh, to some degree with the actual commercial cockpit. Yeah, I think a lot of the like pre-built ones have an option where you can like they had it in front of their TV, mm -hmm. uh, or you know they have the, an adapter to attach the uh, you know like a, a third-party you know monitor mount. So. Yeah. <laughs> there, there's the huge TV mm -hmm. that was, and I got to say like when we did this, when you did this, uh, I keep saying we, but I just raced it. You did, <laughs> you did the work. Yeah, you helped. You helped a lot with it. <laughs> Thanks. That's that's kind of you, but um, it's really. I mean, it's pretty immersive with the three panels. It gives you that kind of wraparound effect. Yeah, it's it's pretty cool. And the fact that he's got the adjustable angles there to adjust the the side, because having it at forty five degrees um, doesn't. It's not quite perfect sometimes, and depending on like the car and the game and stuff. Uh, so being able to adjust the monitor, he he swapped out adjustable angles at the top there. You're saying right here. Yep. Yeah, oh, yeah. okay. So instead of a, a 45, which you use, mm -hmm. he can, and because this swivels around that vertical pipe, you can kind of pick your angle. Right. Oh, neat. Which is great. Um, I'd say that's an improvement over the over the original one. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's, it's a really good idea because being able to adjust it and actually get it as true as possible to, you know, what it's, what it's like in the car mm -hmm. it makes it that much more immersive, you know? Yeah. Nice. Okay. Well, cool. Uh, thanks, Scott B. Appreciate the review and love seeing that. Uh, it's really cool to, you know, lead somebody down a path and have it actually be built. Um, so that's that's great. Here we got a Facebook build from Dan. Uh, he made a um, a structure for his his boat for a duck blind. Looks like check this out. It's pretty pretty simple. Um, it's got just these bent pipes that attached with uh, some one hole or two hole straps right to the the seats here. He's got them sleeved there so you can take it out easier. Oh, I didn't even notice that. You're right. He's got three quarter inch conduit and then maybe half inch. Or maybe one inch. One inch and three quarters. Let's look at the connectors. Yeah, that must be it. It must be one inch because these are three quarter inch connectors. And he's got the frame going all the way around the boat. And then has a kind of a swing open door. So he used this uh, clevis pen, I believe, drilled through conduit and then hinged it out with one of the adjustable connectors. So you can you can actually swing out uh, the front of this, uh, get access to the front of the boat and the seat. So yeah, awesome, simple build. I hope that saved him a bunch of money. Thanks, Dan. Appreciate you tagging us in that. Check out this one. This one's wild. <laughs> okay, so uh, I go to Jake. I'm like, what is this? Uh, before we we got on the stream, because I only saw this picture. Uh, but <laughs> this is a stand for a, a tortoise environment. So you got a, a tortoise environment, and that structure that we just looked at is the underneath of this. Uh, there's another picture with some lights overhead. And, and uh, it just raises it up, which seems fantastic, just a simple use. And then here's kind of an overhead rig that's incorporated where you can customize the lights and everything like that. Uh, but yeah, boy, um, tortoise stand enclosure and light hanging. Who knew, right? I mean, that's just one of those wild, wild things. First time on me, but really cool. I'm glad it worked for him. Um, here is one. We've got some, another holiday <laughs> theme. This one is wild. Um, so you've seen these probably before the sleigh, right, with the reindeer. Well, this year the reindeer are mounted with maker pipe. <laughs> so you've got, uh, you know, the sleigh, right? But the center section that's holding up all the wire reindeer is made with maker pipe. You got conduit as, that's kind of bent in that, that arcing takeoff motion. And then uh, 180s and Ts support the reindeer. Um, it looks like it's painted white or wrapped right white. 
and uh, you also have some verticals there to support the whole thing. So uh, really, <laughs> and it's on a trailer, I, I guess to, to move it around to wherever you need it. And there's a good look at the reindeer taking off Rudolph in front. Or maybe even as like a float in like a Christmas parade or something. Oh, yeah. It's like Santa can sit in there and just drive down the road. I bet that's it. That's a good idea. But uh, Kimber posted that. Kimber Lawrence, thanks so much for, for posting that one. It's nice. We're getting some holiday builds. It's nice to get some holiday cheer going on. But, I mean, these builds are involved. It takes a lot of work. Um, really love seeing them. So uh, good luck with your holiday builds. Send them, send them our way. Post them to the community. And thank you for everybody that posted to the community. We love seeing these builds. Uh, keep it coming, and we'll keep talking about them. And uh, we appreciate everybody that stopped by. Have a great week, and we'll see you next Monday. Take care, everybody. Thanks, everybody. See you later. All right. Take care.